Oh, they went for faint. Oh, that's it. Today, we're trying out another rental code by Cobalt to get into the series three beginnings. And right now we have Glamora, but with a bit of a twist with Woshian and Life Orb Terra Flying Dundozo. I guess Amoongus has really become a problem, huh, recently. So we're going to try it out and see if this combination performs well. Let's see how it goes. This team features Dundozo Tatsugiri with Glamora and Woshian. Using Glamora to set up Mortal Spin and or Toxic Spikes allows this team to wear down opposing teams for the Choice Specs Hex Fluttermane, which is a ghost move that doubles in power if the opponent is statused. Woshian can help in the Dundozo Mirror and good at helping with Palafin, which Dundozo doesn't like dealing with. Arcanine with Intimidate to help cover the Glamora, make it harder to knock it out while threatening Amoongus and finally the Life Orb Terra Flying Dundozo to threaten Amoongus and Woshian with Terra Blast with the added benefit of being immune to Fisher from Ting Lu. Usually getting Glamora to poison your opponents to put it in range of Dundozo or Flutter Main Sweep is the goal. You usually have a lot of lead options with Dundozo plus a partner to force Tatsugiri switch mind games, the more Arcanine or Flutter Main. Arcanine tends to be very safe to set up poisons. If you would like to check out the creator and the details of the team, they will be linked in the description. Okay, we have the Flutter Main, Shiyu, Shien Pao, Annihilate Dragon Knight, and Mousehold. Oh, geez, this is definitely one heck of a scary one right here. Okay. All right, what do I want to do here? Annihilate is actually really tricky for this team. Annihilate, Mousehold combination. I think I definitely go Flutter Main. Flutter Main is definitely being broad here. For sure. It's either Flutter Main Arcanon or Flutter Main Glamora. I feel like Glamora might be more helpful. But I'm not 100% certain. I think it is Flutter Main plus Glamora and then have Tatsugiri Dundos on the back. I could also lead Tatsugiri, but like the problem is Scarf Tatsugiri in this format is there is a freaking Extreme Speed Dragonite that just one shots. Uh, so I don't really think that that's the call. I don't know who I'm tearing yet. I could definitely see Terra on any of my Pokemon right here. I think it depends on the lead option. Because I don't think I'll need Terra Blast at all. But we'll see. I do have to make sure that I play smart with my Dundelzo though. Because this is an offensive one. I don't have Loveless Recovery to bail out in certain situations. We're going to see the Mousehold Annihilate. Okay. I do have Terra Flying on my Dundozo. I kind of wish I led Dundozo. I'm Terra Steel so I can't pick up a Knockout. Hmm. If I get forced to annihilate to Terra, I'm in such a good spot. I think I'm just going to Moonblast here and I'm going to go for a Mortal Spin attempt. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play. Annihilate should be tearing here, I'd imagine. Into your Fire or Steel type or whatever you have to really take the... Yep, Air Fire. I got a Power Gem that slot. It's okay though. Because now it's just weak to Earthquake from my Dundozo, so it's really not that bad. Oh, they went for Faint. Oh, that's it. Of course, it's Scarf Annihilate. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's Scarf freaking Annihilate with Faint. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Or wait, hold on. Why would they tear fire in that situation then? I. Yeah. Oh, because if I tear a fairy, I, I, they they don't pick up the knockout at, at uh, 100 base power. Okay. Especially if it was a bulky one. <laughs> what the heck, man? Uh, I'm going Dundos, I suppose. I kind of want to just protect and go for a power gem right here. But if they're Encore Mousel, that'd be really bad, huh? I wish I had the layer of Toxic Spikes up guaranteed here. That would make things so much easier in the end game. But I think I just have to go for an Ur I think Earthquake is to play here and just swap to Katsugiri. There's no swap from them, which is really good for me. Also, like, if they faint... Well, faint wouldn't be too bad. The worst is, like, what, well, faint Rage Fist? And that's not, like, that powerful. All right. Bring out the Dundozo Commander. So we're going to get the plus two in all stats. But uh, this is not exactly an easy position right here. Okay. 
Let's see. Okay, they fainted and done those. Good, good, good. All right, I got this read right at least. Rage Fist. It's gonna hurt a decent amount. Not that much, actually. Okay. So I get an earthquake off. I'm worried about what their combo in the back is. Although, if it's Fluttermane with Shiyu, actually, this is not too bad because they already Terra'd. And my Glamour is a Salt Vest, and I'll still have a Scarf Tatsugiri because I don't think they can eliminate me in one hit. I guess that's not awful. Yeah, but Dundoza with the Life Orb is a little bit weird. Not having Leftovers Recovery makes this uh, end game position a lot harder. We're going to see Dragonite, I think. Yeah, Dragonite, Shein, Paladin. Yep, Dragonite, Shein, Pal. Okay. Well, there's no really point of protecting here. What's my Terra on the Tazagiri? It's water. That doesn't help me. So I'd probably Terra the Glamora at the end of the day. Yeah. I think that means we just go for the wave crash into Shein Pao. We're probably just getting eat. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so the Dry Knight has protect. Aze. Okay, that makes a lot of sense to me. All right. I'm able to get the wave crash into the uh, Shein Pao. I wanted the wave crash into Shein Pao so I can always weaken it for my uh, back. Or like breaking the sash, I felt like was more part on the Shein Pao because that thing beats my Glamora. The only problem is my gear is probably getting uh, blasted right here. Actually, I should go. I should have went for protect stalls. I should have went for protect stalls here because there is a chance extreme speed didn't knock me out. Oh, no, it does. Okay. I'm getting targeted by the ice spinner now. Life Orb Dragonite. Okay, ice spinner. Oh, Tatsuki surviving is actually pretty huge. I get to bring out the Glamora. I am a Salt Vest. I really wish I was able to get the Toxic Spikes up somehow earlier. I think I Power Gem here in an Icy Wind. This is probably like some priority move and then an attack here. Or if they Protect Extreme Speed, that works too. Unless it's Protect EQ, which I win the game then, 100%. Oh, they don't Protect the Scout for it, Protect from me. Okay. Which I think works in my favor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll see here. I think this is going to come down to some reads. I go for the power gem. I think my play is to always mortal spin here. Get rid of the Shein Pao guaranteed. Yeah. I think they were scouting for like a random Terra Ghost. They go for Sucker Punch into the Shein Pao or into the Tatsugiri. Okay. They have the ground move. Aqua Jet. Okay. Okay, we're good. Layer's fine. Okay, if Aqua Jet is their best move to hit me, then I think I guarantee to win. So I don't think I ever Terra because that Aqua Jet was boosted by the Sword of Ruin. So the Sword of Ruin is no longer a factor because I eliminated Sheen Power. Now Power Gem should finish off the Dragonite. Because Dragonites haven't been running really any... I don't think there have been that many that have been running ground or fighting coverage. I think fighting coverage is probably like more rare, but... Okay, let's uh let's go for the power gem. I wonder if they protect to just scout for like if I go for a terror because I do have a terror that I never went for, so they could be expecting the terror right here. Yep. I actually think I should terror now. <laughs> I really think I should terror now. Cause now that I think about it, Aqua just literally the same damage as extreme speed. So there's literally no point of that. So it's probably better me not risking this being a, a ground move and them hiding it the entire time. Yeah, because literally Aqua Jet 40 base power is 80 base power. So yeah, it's the same thing. I'm going to power gym now. I had a feeling they would protect the scout. And then hopefully this mind game just guarantees the win right here. If not, we'll see. If they have a ground move, I'd actually flip. But there's like no way, I think. Unless they thought it was like really fast Glamora and could outspeed and KO the Dragonite, which is the only thing uh, that would be risking here. Yep, they went for Aqua Jet. Oh, that was closer than I thought. <laughs> the Scarf Annihilate got me. The Scarf Annihilate got me, but you know what? Endgame Glamora doesn't have to set up the T Spikes at all. Power Gem gonna KO right here into the Dragonite and pick up the Knockout. Wasn't expecting Haze either, now that I think about it. That had no Sacred Sword, I suppose. 
But yeah, they extreme. I think if they extreme speeded and they ice spinnered, I think I was in a way more dangerous position. Then I would have actually, then that Terra Mine game would have still had to play out. But I think it was even more dangerous for me. I don't know how much HP I would have had on Glamour. This Glamour is decently bulky, but uh, just glad I didn't have to deal with that, thankfully. And the Dry Knight protecting that one turn with, uh, made it so much easier. Iron Bundle, Iron Hench, She Yu, the Rigoraf. Moongus and Arcanine. Okay. This is kind of a weird team because they have a fast mode, they have a tricker mode, and uh I don't know, the tools kind of are really weird together, like mesh wise. I think my my Glamora does fantastic here, so I'm definitely bringing Glamora. 100 percent Do I want to bring Dundozo? Dundozo can be good. I just don't think it's like necessary at all for this game. I kind of like the idea of just like going with Fluttermane plus the... Yeah, Fluttermane seems like a good lead here. Fluttermane plus Arcanine, I think, in the back. And I think the Woshien is better. Or Tatsugiri isn't bad with Muddy Water. But I do kind of like the Woshien here because of Pollen Puff for the Glamora. Because I think Glamora is a really good Pokemon. They have, they have a really tough time of breaking through it, especially if I have my Tablets of Ruin. So I think that Glamora can definitely win this game without Dundas or Tatsugiri. My biggest fears with Dundos with Tasagiri in this matchup too is just like the Iron Hands doing a lot and the bundle. I have a Terra type that doesn't help against the Freeze Dry and Wild Charge combinations. So not really the best for me here. And this is pretty perfect for me. We see a Iron Bundle plus Shiyu combination. And right now, it's looking pretty decent for me here. Because I'm pretty sure that Glamour should be able to pick up a knockout right here. I'm going to go for the Power Gem immediately in an Iron Bundle. Do I want to go for the Terra immediately? Not really. I have Extreme Speed on my Arcanine, right? No, I don't. Okay. Mm. If I had Extreme Speed, this would be a lot easier. Actually, I think I should just Power Gem to Shiyu then. I think I Power Gem to Shiyu and I go for a Moonblast here into the Bundle. I think I always get a KO this way because I think the only way they can pick up a Knockout is like Icy Wind into a Overheat here into the flutter main i don't think anything else picks up a knockout even with choice specs uh maybe flamethrower but icy wing gonna come out which is not too surprising here okay crits not good here i'll say that snarl okay hey that did a lot of damage okay so that's a lot of residual I've taken already. She reveals a life orb though. Okay, so I am able to get Moonblast. It is choice specs in a bundle, which is I able to KO because even though with the Snarl, the problem is you do have your Ruin move and then the Power Gem is going to come out into you. Goodbye? No, it has good spadaf. Okay. But we confirmed that it was life orb, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But the problem is I do have to switch out to maintain momentum right here. Let's see who they're bringing out. Can't protect with either of my mons too. So if I want to bring back Flutter Main, I do have to. S okay, Amoongus coming in is interesting. Okay. Uh, maybe they're pollen puffing here. I definitely never tear a grass in this position. Uh, this is always an Arcanine angle for my Flutter Main, I think. I think I would really want to power. Do I want a power gem or do I want a mortal spin? I'm not corrosion. Actually, I think I just always power gem here. And hard swap to Arcanine. Yeah. I like that. It could protect Spore slot. That's definitely a possible play. But Fluttermane uh, coming back in to outspeed the Shiyu is pretty important, I think. And Arcanine at least pressures the Amoongus slot with Flare Blitz as always. And the Shiyu potential with Extreme Speed. So that could be a thing. They Dark Pulse into Glamora, which makes it a knockout. I think that crit from earlier did matter. Okay. I wish I was goggles right here. All right. Okay, this is where it gets pretty tough. So I think I go flutter main, baits the she protecting if it has protect, and try to burn a sleep term with Arcanine. I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping this works because I kind of need it to. So my play, my plan here is to go out into my. I'm baiting the Shiyu to go for a protect here, hopefully, because of the fact that Fluttermane is 
threatening a lot with the dazzling gleam ko right here even if but my opponent could be like okay if i have something in the back that's really good in this position they could go for the just take uh go for the spore trade regardless but i feel like Shiyu still has some really good value right here especially since i didn't bring dundozo so we'll see So we bring out our Woshian. That was Ruin. Protect. Okay, nice. So this should be Protect Spore. That's good for me. Okay, take a turn of sleep. They did Spore. Nice. Okay. I think I Protect and I think I go for a, a Snarl here. I flare blitz here. I pick up the knock on the Shiyu though. Shoot, I don't have a faint. I don't think I have a move that knocks out Shiyu. And what? After Life Orb Snarl might get it. I think I have to go for that. Because if they pollen puff, I think I instantly lose. Yeah, I'm gonna flare blitz and Terra here. Oh, what they switched out the Amoongus. I thought Amoongus was in a good spot. Arcanine's fine. Oh, that's really good for me, actually. Okay. Well, it's not amazing for me, actually, because I did have to Terra the Woshian. I mean, Terra the Woshian is probably the best thing I could Terra, but the thing is, I'm now vulnerable to Amoongus Rage Powder and Spore stuff. Oh, they Terra fired. Okay. Is this Overheat? <laughs> uh, Woshian does have some pretty good Spadef, but I don't know if it lives this. I went for the Snarl play because my hope was that I'd be able to get Snarl off if Arcanine... Like, Markanine goes down here, right? Or stays asleep. My issue is that Amoongus Pollen Puffs and I don't have Extreme Speed Pressure. I think they were thinking about Extreme Speed Pressure, so going into Arcanine. Yeah, and I stayed asleep, so I'm kind of glad I made the Snarl play here. A Heat Wave, that's going to do a lot. Yeah, it's not a KO, fortunately, though. Hit the Snarls, please. Okay. They give it a Shiyu critical hit on the Arcanine. Not like the biggest deal in the world, realistically. Okay. I just need to find a position to actually pick up the knockout into the Amoongus. Hit the left recovery. They Terra too. So this is actually a good position. Yeah, this is a good position for Boshian. I think I always protect and I switch into Fluttermane here. Yeah. Because I want the Intimidate with my Arcanine. This is a Pollen Puff War. But I feel since I locked them in and I have Intimidate and I still have a Figgy Berry, which is actually pretty good. That will help me here a lot. Even if they read the Fluttermane switch and KO with Flare Blitz, that's okay here. I think they're always going to protect. I think Protect Spore is very likely here. I think that'd be your most likely option. Because I don't think you want to get Leaf Seed with the Arcanine. But uh, we'll see. I think Protect Spore is pretty safe. They could Flare Blitz Pollen Puff. That also works here. But we'll see. Gonna switch out to Arcanine into Fluttermane. Let's see if they read this. Because uh, Intimidate could be, is really good in this endgame. So they definitely can read this here. Which I'm okay with them reading it. Okay, well, Chan gets the Protect off. Most Combat. Oh, that's an uh, interesting set. Spore and Awoshian. Okay, that's really good for me. I'll gladly take that. <laughs> I'll gladly take that. Get the leftovers recovery. They're definitely taking a knock on a Flutter Main, I'd imagine, here. I think it'd be really silly if you didn't take the knock on a Flutter Main. I want to Ruination here. Maybe go back into Arcanine? I mean, that makes a lot of sense to me here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Arcanine for another Intimidate and Ruination the Amoongus, so it's always in Flareless range from my Arcanine, so I don't have to worry about Pollen Puff really being a big factor here. Uh they could be sporing either slot here, which I think is completely fine. I could see protect Arcanine Spore. Or I could see them just going for a flare blitz with their Arcanine and sporing the Woshien, which both are pretty uh dealable. I think either spot should Give me a good position, barring Flare Bits crit or a super hard read of close combing to Arcanine, but I don't think it picks up the knockout unless it's Choice Bandit, which their Choice Bandit is screwed anyway because they lose to Woshien. Arcanine protects, yep. 
I had a feeling. And ruination, perfect. I feel like if you made this play, you had to spore the, you had to spore, the Arcanine. Yeah, perfect. Now I should be in range of my attacks. I could do the swap again, but I'm pretty sure I'll just live close combat because since we confirmed it's not banded, I'm just gonna get my lead seed off into Arcanine, and I'm gonna flare blitz attempt the Amoongus. Even if this turn goes wrong, let's say close combat does knock on my Arcanine, I'm pretty sure like. As long as I get the lead seed off, then I think I can just bring out my Flutter main and guarantee to win. Also, like, I just don't see how they really break through Wuxian. Like, Wuxian's really hard to break through, especially with one lead seed. Of course, I have to hit the lead seed, so that's their win con. They have to crit and hit the lead. Uh, they have to crit and dodge the lead seed. Lead seed. Flare bits because they're reading the Flutter main again as the mid ground. Perfect. And we hit the lead seed, so that should secure it here. So this is Spore into the... Oh, Clear Smog. Ooh, okay. Into the Arcanine slot. All right, all right. Game back a berry. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Very cool play. Very cool play. But I don't know. I don't think that really helps them in the long run. I think... Yeah, I have a berry on my Arcanine. I think I just go for a Snarl here. Yeah, I think I just Snarl here. Uh, do I Snarl? I feel like I get Ruination damage. Or Snarl's not too bad into Moongus either. I think I definitely want to switch out Arcanine here into Fluttermane. Because I think that Intimidate's going to be super valuable. So you know what? I'm going to protect here and I'm going to swap out into Fluttermane. Because I don't think, like, Snarl doesn't benefit me here. Because that's Citrus Berry, right? Citrus Berry is the one concern I have with the Amoongus. So... It was a Citrus... No, I don't think... Was it Citrus Berry Arcanine? I thought it was Citrus Berry Amoongus. And I thought it was Pinch Berry and Arcanine. But I could be wrong. Oh, they closed combat. <laughs> uh, and they support the Roshi and not like this. <laughs> okay, that's really good for me. That's really good for me. So Wochian is just healing up all this HP. Also, wait, I guess like if this clear smog, it shouldn't have protect, right? Or it doesn't have pollen puff. And if you don't have pollen puff, you just instantly lose this game guaranteed. Yeah. So I'm gonna snarl here and I'm gonna go for a oh, I don't have Shadow Ball, I have Hex. Well, I have Mystical Fire, so Mystical Fire should be able to clean up the Amoongus, and that's what I'm gonna go for. Yeah. That's gonna be forfeit. <laughs> Oh, I got them on the Arcanine. I thought because since I have a berry, I think that play is 100% worth it. But I kind of realized that I didn't have Pollen Puff on my uh, Woshien. I thought I did. So uh, I still think it was the right brain though because it was really helpful in that end game. But oh man, that could have gotten a little bit tricky. That definitely could have gotten a little bit tricky with close combat. But I think I played a really good defensive game against the Shiyu. Palafin... Fluttermane, Arcanine, Tinglu, Amoongus, and the King Gambit. Okay, this should be Luca's team then, if I'm not mistaken. Luca's team is a little bit tricky because there's obviously the Palafin, which is super scary. The Amoongus, I wonder if they know this team because Terra Blast does hit pretty hard against them in general. I'm wondering if I could abuse that quite a bit. I think I'm going to try to. I think I'm going to go with Glamora. Lamorally doesn't sound bad here. As they don't have the best answers. Hmm. I'm just trying to make sure. Arcanine, I think, is decent, but of course it's not exactly amazing here. I think it might be the Woshian. Or the Tatsugiri. I don't mind the Tatsugiri lead, actually. Yeah, Tatsugiri lead actually puts on a lot of pressure. I'm worried if they lead, lead Ting Lu Palafin. I don't think they do. But if they lead Arcanine, it works out too. And I think in the back with Dundozo and the Woshien. I think the plan is to try to get rid of the Amoongus as fast as possible. And then uh, start getting the T-Spikes up and poison stuff. The only issue is going to really be that King Gambit is quite scary. As it is something that I know that can break through Dundozo. So it's going to be tricky. But like the thing about this team is the best way to break through Dundozo, especially with the King Gambit, is the Dundozo with the Terra Blast. So uh, there is the King Gambit lead. So I'm not too surprised here. 
I wonder if I pick up the knockout. I kind of want to just earth power and muddy water. Yeah, I think that would probably be the play. I'm not really worried about the... I don't think they turn one wave crash. Yeah, I just wouldn't see it. So I'm just going to go for a muddy water into a... a Draco. Draco might be better here if they Terra Dark immediately. I don't think they should Terra Dark, though. So I'm just going to Muddy Water, actually. They could Protect Switch to Amoongus, but we'll see. I could definitely see them trying to get maybe Kalto or Sword Stand set up. Uh, Fluttermane is an interesting pick here. Okay. Booster Energy Flutter immediately. Huh. I would expect an Amoongus or something. All right. Muddy Water connects. Oh, just don't get the accuracy drop. Okay, nice. I get the Earth Power off. That's huge. Barely misses the knockout. Sword Stance does go up, though. Okay, perfect. So I think this is a decent position. Yeah, this is definitely a decent position. But uh, we do play mind games here, unfortunately. I don't really want to tear it up. I really don't want to tear the Tatsugiri if I can help it. I think my play here is to just go for the Earth Power. Or yeah, I think it's Earth Power. Swap Int. Or is it Power Gem? Actually, it is Power Gem. Yeah, it is Power Gem here. Power Gem into the King Gambit. Swap into Woshien. Hope that they go for like a Moonblast and a Sucker Punch. And then hope that the attack drop from the Tablets of Ruin is enough for Glamour to survive. Sucker Punch into Glamora. Bad crit. Uh, it's doable, though. But I'm taking so much damage, though, with the uh, Woshien. That's unfortunate. Okay. Moonblast. Yep. I took so much. On, uh, Yeah, they did Moonblast, too. I don't know if I survived that with Glamora guaranteed. This Glamora has good bulk. Uh, the King Gambit is strong. But I feel like I would live that. That's the unfortunate part. We're going to go out into Dundozo here. I'm going to double protect because they're probably... I, I'd imagine if you're you're going to sack something here and protect your... I think you Sucker Punch protect, yeah. With Fluttermane. And now I threaten the Earthquake, which is good at least. So we double protect here, which is good. Because we're able to get leftovers recovery on the uh, Woshi end, which could matter. It really could matter in the end game. Sucker punch into the Dundozo. Yep. On the protect. Now I go out and Tatsugiri. I click Earthquake. And Life Orb Earthquake. <laughs> uh, this is kind of the dumb part about this uh, Dundozo. This Earthquake is going to do so much damage. Sucker punch and Moonblast would also do a lot, but we'll see. But yeah, we're going into the Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri and just going to go for the Earthquake. And then next turn, we'll probably Terra Blast the slot. Life Orb Earthquake should also knock out this Fluttermane, which is nice because Bulky Flutters could potentially live this, but without it, uh, even if there's an Arcanine Switch, we should be safe. That uh, looks like no Arcanine Switch, so. All right. Dundozo. Boosted. I'm really surprised the Flutter came out. I really thought it would be like a Moongus. Okay. Get all the boosts. Sucker Punch. Yep. Doesn't do much because we do have a uh, really high base defense and we have the unaware. Moonblast. Perfect. Earthquake. Okay. Really good. Really good. Really good. Pick up the knockouts. Excellent. All right. So it's a 3v2 scenario, but of course we have two really heavily weakened Pokemon. They still have a Palafin that is very healthy. I'm hoping Amoongus comes out here. The thing is, their position lost if I was Terra Grass because I could just Terra Blast. Terra Grass D. Well, actually, no, I'm weakened, so they could Pollen Puff theoretically. Amoongus is uh, coming out here. Perfect. I guess they haven't Terra yet. I did get the T spikes up earlier, though. Wait, hold on. Does the switch order matter there? I think the switch order matters, right? Or if you switch Amoongus for the other slot, would you got into poison? Or does it just like after if they switch in the same time? Oh, it still works out for us. I'm going to go for a Terra Blast here into the Amoongus, I think. Because if I can get rid of Amoongus, I'm in such a good spot. I don't think EQ is really the play here. Yeah, maybe. The thing is... Maybe EQ was the play. This isn't Citrus Berry on the Amoongus. It was Rocky Helmet. I'm just worried about Protect Spore. Protect Spore would be awful for me. Like that. 
<laughs> like that. They could have also been going for Pollen Puff because if I was Terra Grass, they could go for Pollen Puff here and then go for the Jet Punch. But this Terra Blast is going to save me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So goodbye, Amoongus. I mean, I do think I go down to the Jet Punch from the Palafin, but actually, do I? I probably do. And I always just Terra Blast again. I could get another Poison Healing, but they could go for Haze here. I care if they go for Haze, though. I don't think I do, right? No, I don't think I do. Because I'm pretty sure I still go down to the Jet Punch. They are going to go for the Terra Water because it is their only Terra they could go for. Hmm, that situation could have been weird though, I guess, if they had if they tear water the Amoongus. But then again, it is plus two life orb terror blast from the Dozo. That would hurt the Amoongus. I don't know if it picks up the knockout at neutral. Probably not, I'd assume. But it would have done a lot. Wave crash. No jet punch. Huh. I mean terror with jet punch definitely can pick up the knockout, but I guess the sucker punch did a lot less than I was expecting into Dozo. But it wasn't Terra Dark. No, no, actually, no. The damage was uh, pretty much what I would expect here. Then Terra Blast. I outspeed. They didn't go for Jet Punch, so... This should KO, especially with the Poison Chip. Nice. Life Orb, Terra Blast, and Doza. Putting it work. Surprise to Arcanine. I felt like Arcanine was kind of needed for the Intimidate. Like, Arcanine really would have screwed up like some of the damage calcs, I think, throughout the match. But overall, I was able to set up a... A position with uh, getting rid of King Gambit early. King Gambit is just such a problem. I'm surprised the Amoongus didn't come in earlier, but it ended up working out huge for me, I felt, because I was able to get the momentum. All right, let's go over to games. Game one was not expecting the Scarf and Nihilab, especially with the Terra and then the Faint combination, but thankfully they Terra because that allowed Dundozo to threaten the knockout onto both Mousehold and Annihilab after getting the chip. However, Xian Pao and Dragonite could have been scary if they didn't use their Terra earlier in that match. Game 2, Glamour was able to survive the double up from Iron Bundle and Shiyu and able to get heavy damage onto their side while they had a tough time handling my endgame Arcanine and Woshian with Terra. Game 3 was able to apply heavy damage onto my opponent while having the Toxic Spike set up with Dundozo eliminating the Amoongus with Terra Blast giving me a huge advantage where it was hard for my opponent to recover from. Okay, Dundozo. No leftovers or something was pretty interesting because just not having that recovery, which makes Dundozo great to stall out. But the offensive life of Terra Blast set was actually a lot of fun and it does a lot of damage that players might not expect, even through an Intimidate only being plus one. So it was very fun to try out. So if you do want to try it out, the rental code is on your screen available. And of course, check out the description down below for the creator as well as the details of the team and of course subscribe to the channel for more vgc content